You have an assignment called Creating New Files, Text Effects and Typography Icon, and I just want to show you where it is. You will be typing a sentence and then selecting the sentence and then adding a a text effect and it is right here is the icon you can click it the first one you need to do is blue accent color one shadow what you need to do is just look for the blue ones and then hover on them and wait until you see the description so there it is right there uh, they'll all have slightly different names so you need to match up with the name and when you click it that sentence will now have that text effect on it. So there's a little shadow there and it's colored blue. Okay, now if we select the next, uh, so in your next file you will have something else. When you come to this, these are called presets. Okay, they're just all done for you. But So some of the time you're finding a preset but some of the time you are going to actually come here and it'll tell you a shadow offset left so you need to find the shadow that's offset left by coming on here and hovering over these until you see and there there is offset left right there so when you click that now it has a shadow that is offset on the left on this uh, line here. Now also you'll do be doing a reflection uh, so you'll highlight your whole sentence, select it, and you'll come in here and it will ask you to put a reflection so you need to come here and uh, find the reflection that you need here. So the one that you need is a half reflection touching. So there it is there. You find it, you click it, uh, and you could actually see that it gave you a live preview of, of when you were hovering over those reflection. When you hover over, you can see that it changes to show you what those are going to look like. Now, some of the time you'll be doing a glow, so I'll just go down to the next line here and go down to glow and just find the preset. All of these are the same, 8-point glow, 8-point. Uh, As you get down farther in the rows, you have a bigger glow, smaller glow, and basically the colors go in the column. Uh, just so you know, uh, all of these, uh, shadow, actually let me cover outline first. If you're asked to put an outline on, you need to come and find the color that you need for the outline. You put that on, you almost can't see the black in the word anymore, but if I come back into text effects, go to outline and change the weight down to something smaller, uh, then, you know what, I'm going to try this. You, sometimes you can't see these very well unless you have a very heavy font. You are going to just follow what you're supposed to do. I'm going to come here, come to outline, put the red on. Now you can see that a little bit better. Um, come down to the weight, I'll make it a quarter point. I'm not sure I had that selected. Let me just do that again. Wait a quarter point. And that means that there is a red outline that's uh, quite thin on that word now. So that's outline. Now all of them, I'm going to enter. And if I start typing, I'll keep that outline. So I'm going to select it and just uh, go back to normal here. And it will change me back to Calibri 11. I'm going to select it and come in here and show you that the shadow options at the bottom, you have those three uh, etc. marks. Also in the reflection you can see that you have this option.
Same with glow. If you click this, it brings up this pane, and then you can get to shadow, reflection, uh, glow, a, a whole number of things all in one go, and just play around with them. Sometimes you don't see a big, um, a big difference. You just have to play around. So if you put a preset on, you can see it added 40% transparency with the size. I can increase this size by moving this slider and it will change. Uh, you can see I'm changing the distance. Look over on the document. When I slide this, the shadow is going farther and farther away. So this is just something for when you get more advanced that it's nice to know where it is that any time you see those three dots it means there's an extra either dialog box or we call this a pane format text effects pane. Uh, and right now we're here in text effects but just so you know you can also come here and get uh, some extra formatting things. So I'm just going to close this file and just remind you that for your assignment you would type the sentence and then you would select the sentence, put the effect on. Um, I'm going to enter. If I put my NH now I don't have the right file name here. So I'm going to take that away. I'm going to go to File, Options, Proofing, Autocorrect. I'm going to find my NH by typing my initials here. Of course you should have yours there. It's found it. I'll delete it. And now I'm going to come in here and this is creating new files and with an E and add that in. OK, OK. So I type my sentence. I put my effect on whatever you've been asked for. When I enter, uh, if I type my NH, you can see I have the effect that's going to come on. I'm just going to backspace, switch this to normal, put my NH space, and now I will get this in regular normal typing that goes with the blank template, just Calibri 11.